Hello everyone, and in this video I wanted to continue going over my home lab and go into more detail for how the services are connected by creating a new network and uh, from scratch and showing you how to set up the DHCP relay from a Windows server to assign IP addresses. All right, and uh, to get started, what we'll have to do on the VMware host client is set up the port group. This port group is going to need to be assigned to either the um, internal or the external switch in my case. And to do so, we just have to hit new port. We'll call this one the DMZ. And we'll give it a VLAN ID of, let's say, 100. Okay, and add. After that gets created, next thing we want to do is set up the PFSense. So over here, we'll see I'm already logged in. So what we have to do is go into interface. From there, go to assignment, go over to VLANs, and here's where we create the VLAN. So we'll do add, make sure you select the LAN network here. VLAN, where we put in our VLAN tag, we'll be putting 100 for that, and DMZ for the description. Hit save. Um, I'll put VLAN actually. From there, we go to interface assignments, go down to available network ports, and hit add. From there, select the name of it to enable it and give it the description. For IPv4, we'll be put in static. And then here's where we give it the IP address. We'll say 10.5.100.100. And Ask, and we'll leave the upstream gateway alone. All right, save that. Apply changes. All right, and from there, we will need to set up the firewall rules for this interface. Go to rules. Go to the DMZ network you just created. And for an example of the firewall rules we can apply to this, we can look at another one that I have set up here and look at some of the requirements. So first off, I gave it the allow all to first to get added, and then uh, from there, I started putting in the block and allow rules one at a time. Um, found out the ports that I wanted to allow for internet browsing, and they're here right there, created an alias for them, and created the rule to allow for THCP and UDP. Okay, and I also wanted to disable the access from this LAN to the firewall so they can't access the interface for the login. I made sure that this block rule was here. Um, and then from there, I added a RFC 1918 alias and added the, all the networks for the private range. And this is how I'm going to be getting VLAN blocking between uh, each of my VLANs. All right, and then from there, I created an alias for each domain controllers and Active Directory for the ports. These are the domain controllers I'm running, the IP addresses, the names, and then these are the ports needed to allow traffic. And the, the descriptions for each of these ports and uh, what they mean is on the right side here. So client to domain controller, domain controller, domain controller. Uh, they need it for both CCP and UDP. And then we also have the LDAP and the Kerberos authentication ports. And at the very last here, we're going to need this when we join computers because of the RPC RPM request exchange. The, um, the ports that they use they use when they make the connections are, are in, this, in this range. That needs to be allowed too. 
and then we also have the DHCP alias for the ports used and the server for that. We can ignore the Splunk folder for now or add it. It's okay. And also the ping and NTP. So I'll start here by just copying the rules and just changing the interface that they're on to, um, to the new network we just created. And once you're okay with the firewall rules, we can adjust later. Uh, but next thing we need to do is set up the DHCP scopes. And to do so, let's go ahead and log, get logged into our server and pull up DHCP. I have it up here already. And I was kind of taking an example from one of my other networks here. So first thing we need to do, set up new scope. Next, we'll click this DMZ scope and for the description we'll put 10.5.100.100 starting IP address and I have it here what we're going to be using we'll just have it up on the side uh, yeah, so one For the leases, we're going to start at 10.5.100.20 and then end at 10.5.100.254. This is going to be a slash 24 network. Okay. And for the exclusions, we're going to actually need to add the IP address of the firewall, firewall. so that's 172.16.1. Um, in this case, actually, this will be 10. Dot, the VLAN ID in this case is 10.5.100.100. And the DNS servers would also be put in here, but for this network, I'm going to be trying to use external DNS servers. Um, and I don't want the domain controller resolving the DNS queries from the DMZ. So next, this is fine at eight. And yes, configure these now. So this is where we put the router. And that's going to be the VLAN ID. So 10.5.100.100. The domain domain controllers are here. Um, this is fine like this. We don't, need, we don't have a one server, and we can activate it right now. Finish. And let's go into the option for this. Okay, so actually we forgot to set up the DNS service correctly. So we'll go into scope options and quickly change this. Oh, and I, okay. Supposed to hit apply there. My bad. Okay, that looks good here now. All right, so we had to hit refresh up here, and we saw that the uh, there was no mark on the folder for DMZ anymore. 
So we can say this is finished and we'll start to add a machine onto here, see if it works. Use this machine for now. Um, actually, yeah, this is this minute. No, uh, that's fine. Let's, let's, let's go through mid settings. I'm not gonna connect this one. We're gonna add a new one and put it on DMT. This we'll just see what happens. This should work now. Now this computer is already domain joined, so we might need to remove it from the domain. So in case of any issues, but I want to see if the DNS servers actually get signed. Not able. Oh, that's right. Um, what else do I have to do? Let's see. Okay, I'm back, and I think I know what the issue is here, and it's because I didn't set or check the DMZ net, uh, network interface here is why it's not working. So hit Shift and make sure they're all selected, and then hit Save. So let's see if that resolves our issue. Okay, and uh, we got an IP address now. We got a default gateway. Let's, put, let's look what all looks like. All. So we got these external DNS servers. Make sure they work. All right, and we got a response. So, perfect. Let's try and browse the internet on this network. Perfect. So things are starting to work now uh, in terms of internet connection. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And if you wanted me to go into more detail with anything else, and just let me know. But thanks for watching. Have a good one.